So in the case of some documents, like this one you can see here, it's important to be able to actually store multiple copies of the document. So in the case of an invoice, um, I don't typically just give a single invoice as part of my business. What I tend to do is I give multiple invoices for a variety of different purposes and to a variety of different customers. So you can see here, I've got my basic invoice of um, invoice number 59942 to Acme, and you can see what this person has bought. Um, it's calculated in the GST and given a total from that. But um, I don't want to have to recreate that whole thing into a new workbook. I'd like to just be able to have this as a template. It's actually very easy to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Acme Jan first, and there's a couple of options that I have here, and two of them will create a new sheet. The first way to create a new sheet is simply to put your cursor up here and press Insert Sheet. The trouble with this, although it does give you a clean sheet, you can see it's called Sheet 4 as opposed to the original one that was called Acme January 1st. Um, it doesn't have any content on it, so now I do need to recreate and add some more content to that. However, if I go back to Acme June 1st and I right click on that, which is a two finger click or control click on a Macintosh, um, instead of insert sheet, I'm going to move a copy. And what I'm going to tell it is that I would like to have a new sheet at the end of um, my list of sheets, and I'd like it to be a copy of the sheet that I've currently got on the screen, which is my invoice. Now when I press OK, you can see that immediately a new uh, tab appears called Acme Jan 1st, number 2. If I um, double click on that, I can now change the name of it. So maybe this new invoice is called Smith January 3rd. Now right now it has exactly the same content on it, but I can go ahead and delete that. So if I delete um, just the uh, content from here and delete just the content from here and all I'm doing is I'm just pressing literally the delete key on my keyboard after I uh, select that. Now I have a, a clean sheet ready to fill in. If I go back I can still click on Acme January 1st. That's still in my workbook but so is the new sheet which now I can actually populate. They work and look exactly the same, however, um, they're individual copies of the same thing.